Hey up, I'm Alex, I'm a ninth Digi Destin, and today I have got a massive collection update. I have finally acquired another of my holy grail items. Ladies and gentlemen, an original 1997 steel box digital monster version one. This is so insanely special, so ridiculously, ridiculously special. So this is exactly as it was on the shelves back in Toys R Us back in 1997 and onwards. And man, this is such a dream come true to actually hold one of these things still packaged. And the EU UK versions of the packaging, so this one, are particularly special box because they come in this packaging that is evil to try and open. So to open this, you actually have to just take scissors to it and hack it to death. There's no nice way of opening this package. So to have one still sealed so no one's ever even opened it just to look at it and then put it back in the box carefully to make it look like it's still sealed. Nope, none of that. You can't cheat this. This is so pure. It's beautiful. And it's particularly ironic because I love this packaging, but I remember when I bought my very first one, I hated this packaging so much, so my dad took me to spend my birthday money to Toys R Us, and that's when I first saw one of these up on the shelf, so I was already watching the Digimon anime, I had no idea that these things existed, and I was like, Digimon? Oh, that's Coromon, Tyranimon, no way, and I picked it, I was like, this looks sick, uh, flicked it over, and I was like, what, you can connect them and battle against each other? freaking amazing so instantly fell in love with these things chucked it straight in the shopping trolley and it was on its way home with us and that's what i spent my birthday money on probably eight years old at that point maybe and yeah i remember how much i actually hated the packaging because it was a long drive home and i can remember just wanting to open it so badly but we just didn't have scissors with us because why would you so i couldn't actually get it open so we had the whole drive home and i was just like staring at it in absolute disbelief and excitement and here i am 20 however many years later in the same situation just absolutely buzzing to be holding this thing it is beautiful it also makes me especially grateful that i've got the instruction manual unboxed because if i didn't have this seeing that instruction manual there would just be torture i'd be like what secrets do you hold so let's take this opportunity just to have a quick look at the instruction manual itself absolutely beautiful piece of history right here look at that ain't that beautiful so it folds up and it looks massive but that's because it's in about a hundred different languages so it doesn't actually say that much most of it's just the same thing repeated over and over again waking your digimon by pulling the tab from the bottom of the case in press the recessed reset button on the front of the case in by using a pointed object like a ballpoint pen or a bent paper clip and yeah i always used a pen so my ones always had like ink around the reset button freaking beautiful Okay, on the back, again, loads of text, but it's just in a lot of different languages. So the English part, engage in the exclusive Dock and Rock feature and pit your Digimon in a binary bout against your friend's Digimon. You can get different Digimon every time you play. Two LR44, non-rechargeable batteries included. And that's the sad thing about this. They used LR44 batteries, which don't stand the test of time. So the chances are, if I did open this, this probably would be dead anyway, because what happens with LR44s apparently is over a long period of time, they can leak and just destroy the insides of the device. So a lot of people will buy these, open it, take the batteries out and then reseal it. But again, you can't do that with this packaging without absolutely decimating the packaging to get in. So yeah, this guy is just gonna stay sealed for eternity as a monument to a beautiful history of Digimon. Freaking amazing. So you're probably wondering, what are these things worth and what did I pay for it? So I've never seen these for sale for less than a hundred quid, but honestly, they're usually 200 and above from what I've seen. I could be way off there. I'm not an expert at this, but from what I've seen, sealed EU packaging is usually 200 plus. I actually got this for about 70 quid, which is insane. I'd been watching it and it had just been getting reduced and reduced where the seller was trying to sell it. And then they actually sent me an offer on eBay for an even more reduced one of like 73, 74 quid or something like that. And so I saw the opportunity and I took it. And now you're wondering, Alex, where the hell did you get 70 something quid to blow on Digimon when you're so skint all the time? So this leads me into something else. Now, this was a topic I was going to actually do a chin wagon video on because I feel like it's not something I necessarily want to include in a video, but 
it was something I felt like I should tell you because I've mentioned this topic before. I have finally monetized my channel a bit. And the reason this is such a subject for me is because I have mentioned in a few previous videos before that it was never my intention to monetize the channel, but a few things have changed. So now that YouTube puts adverts on your videos anyway, that was kind of annoying me. I used to take such great pride in that there was no adverts on my vi on my channel and now they're appearing anyway. So ticking that box for me to monetize it and earn a little bit back from the adverts that you're forced to watch anyway, I didn't see the harm in that. On top of that, people have always been saying that I should because, you know, I can use it to invest in the channel and help it grow and all that. And on top, on top of that, I have reason to believe that the YouTube algorithm is more on your side if you are part of the YouTube partnership program. So potentially reaching a slightly bigger audience and pushing the Digimon franchise a bit further, I don't see the harm in that. So I've opted for just skippable ads at the start and end of video so that it's not bothering you. I don't really, really, really do not want ads in the middle of my videos. That does my head in when I'm watching a channel and it's just full of ads all the way through it. So I'm gonna still keep it to an absolute minimum. But yeah, while they're putting ads on my videos anyway, I might as well be getting a little cut from that. And this, this is the first of that YouTube money. So this was actually paid for by the channel, which I think is a beautiful poetry. The fact that the channel has led me to the very place where it all began back when I was a kid. Like, that is just such a beautiful poetry. It's like the channel leading me back to my inner child. And I feel like this is like a full circle kind of moment. Absolutely beautiful. This is such a special moment to actually own this thing and for it to have been paid for by the channel absolutely amazing and to circle back to the monetization discussion is that when i did decide to click the monetization button and decided the money that i was going to make i'm going to keep in a separate pot which i have been doing um for channel projects and stuff maybe to invest in channel equipment but more for other projects like recording more songs people strangely keep requesting more songs and i just can't afford to get back in the studio as much as i want to so having a small pot just kind of filling up to do something like that would be hella cool but like i said when i saw this opportunity to get this for such a bargain i thought it was too perfect and the digi swag doesn't end there i don't know what it is but all my blessings have been coming in this week so i've actually got quite a few other cool things to show off so in no particular order Back when I did my five year anniversary video, I spoke about the display boxes and how that you can't get the Digimon X display box in the UK. Lila, an absolute legend and longtime friend of mine, saw this as an opportunity to once again shower me in generosity. So Lila got me the box. Look at it, the Digimon X display box all the way from the US. And what's mental about this box is that potentially this is the only box of this kind in the UK right now because I even messaged Bandai UK to ask if I could have one of these boxes and they said that they don't have them so, which means they've not been supplying them to places I think so that anywhere that does stock these in the UK don't get the display box so potentially this is actually currently the only Digimon X display box in the UK how freaking ace is that I love these because they're really good for storing your Digimon in Digimon 20th box here is just crammed full of Digimon 20ths but they're also great for taking pictures they just make a really nice sort of background, you know, with the with the bricks and stuff. Really, really cool. Digimon. And then in the red X, there's War Greymon X Antibody looking sick. And then on the other side, Digimon. And in the blue X, we've got Metal Garurumon X Antibody also looking sick. No sprites on this one, unlike the Digimon 20th one. Amazing. But Lila's kindness and generosity didn't end there. She wanted to send something for Luna and the family to enjoy as well. So she's actually sent Luna the Tamagotchi smartwatch. Freaking amazing. Luna is absolutely buzzing for this. I was going to get her to open it on camera, but she saw it and it was just not a convenient time to be filming. So she had to open it up and she's so, so, so excited to start this up. So... Yeah, when she finishes school today, we'll be firing this baby up and having some fun with a Tamagotchi smartwatch. And she also included this beautiful Mew model kit. This is going to go on display in our living room. We've got loads of cool Pokemon and other geeky, nerdy stuff on display in our living room. So I'm going to get this cute little bad boy made up and get him on display in the house. Freaking awesome. And she included a card because Lila's the best. So we've got the Crest of Courage. 
Alex, congrats again for five years of YouTube. Hope you and the fam are staying ace as usual. Y'all enjoy the goodies. Love, Lila and Cairo. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lila. I'm buzzing for these. Like Luna is so excited for the watch, but to have the Digimon X display box, freaking ace. Also off the back of my five year anniversary video where I showed off some of my Digi Battle cards, the Digimon professor noticed that he had some of the movie promos that I'm missing. So he's actually sent me Magnadramon and Antilamon movie promo. So again, these are very hard to find and some of the more expensive of the Digi Battle cards. So such a freaking amazing thing to just send to someone. Thank you, Jordan. You are an absolute legend, mate. Freaking buzzing. And on the topic of Digi Battle cards, I did a bit of trading with the Wandering Tamer. I traded some of my modern card game stuff for this. Metal Greymon, this is the Series 2 Metal Greymon, so now I'm closer to finishing Series 2. Just need Messendramon, Puppetmon, and Gatomon now, and then that'll be Series 2 completed. And here's a picture I took of it side by side with the EX1 alt art, so you can see the new meets the old. Freaking beautiful. Freaking beautiful. And the Digi goodness doesn't end there. So, at my local game store the other night, my imaginary friend Sam presented me with this. Dan, Dan, Dan. Metal Greymon. Look at this freaking masterpiece. So, this is once again 3D printed in resin by my mate Gav and hand painted by Sam of Shed of Shame Studios. So, they didn't model this themselves, they bought the STL file of this to then print themselves and create this. So this isn't a 3D model that they've designed themselves. They've just paid for the file, printed it and painted it. And look at this masterpiece. I'm gonna overlay a load of pictures here because the lighting and camera setup in here does not lend itself particularly well for looking at this stuff. But man, this is immense. How good does it look with the little knife Digi Destin minifigure that they made? Freaking awesome. The detail on this is insane. Look at that face. Look at those creepy eyes. The paint in here is insane. Even the base looks absolutely badass. Sam took a little bit of creative control as well by adding some green stripes. So like kind of reflect the Metal Grey on vaccine that has the stripes as well. And I think it's nice and subtle, but looks really cool. All the metal coming through the tail. Freaking amazing. So, got to find somewhere to display him as well. So, yeah. Massive collection update right there. Absolutely buzzing. I can't believe that I finally own this. This is so unbelievably special. And the fact that the channel has led me to this is... It's a true holy grail. Amazing. So yeah, thank you so much for absolutely everything. I really appreciate every single one of you from just clicking on videos all the way to sending me gifts and everything in between. I feel so truly blessed to be in this position and to have the love and support from you guys. It means so much. I can't even put it into words. I feel like I say it a lot, but I'm never really saying anywhere near to how it actually feels to, to be in this position. And I really, really cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much to everyone that's ever clicked on my channel. It means the whole world to me. I'm going in circles because I do not have the words to describe how much I appreciate you all and how blessed I feel. And It's such a weird feeling and a weird place to be because when I started this channel, I had no idea it would lead me to anywhere near what it is now. And I'm so, so grateful. Yeah. Thank you so much for everything. Stay safe, stay ace, keep rocking. Peace.